Today we're making the most delicious homemade peach hand pies, which are flaky, fruity, and the perfect summer snack. Hi, and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, You'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. We're going to start by making the pastry. So for that, we're going to take two and a half cups of all-purpose flour in a bowl and add two tablespoons of powdered sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to whisk this together till it's well combined. Now to get that lovely flaky pastry, we're going to add one cup of unsalted butter and this butter has got to be really cold and we're going to slice it up into smaller cubes. Now on our clean work surface, we're going to empty the flour out and make a well in the center and then add in those sliced bits of butter. And now we're going to coat all those pieces of butter with the all-purpose flour. Now using our bent scraper or you could use a pastry cutter, we're going to chop into the butter till it blends with the all-purpose flour and we get a crumb-like texture. This is going to take approximately two to three minutes. In a measuring cup, we're going to add half a cup of chilled sour cream, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and we're going to give that a whisk till it gets well blended. And now to that, I'm going to add one third cup of ice cold water. And now let's whisk that once again. And now once again, we're going to make a well in the center and pour in the mixture. And using the bent scraper, we're going to blend both together. And once it begins to come together, we're gently going to use our hands to press it and bring it to form a dough. Now you've got to be quick while trying to press it together because you don't want the heat of your hands melting the butter. Now we're going to cut the dough into two portions, wrap each one up individually in a plastic wrap, and now we're going to refrigerate them for at least 30 minutes to an hour so that the dough gets a chance to relax and the butter gets a chance to firm up. And while that's happening, let's make the filling. For that, I've got two and a half cups of canned peaches in the bowl. And I like to go in with canned peaches because you know that they're always going to be sweet and soft. And it also makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to peel the peaches and take off the seed. And now we're going to chop each slice up into about three pieces. We're going to cook these up, so we're going to add them to a saucepan. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one eighth teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, one teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And I did add half a teaspoon of salt, which I forgot to show you. And now let's mix this all together till it gets well combined. Now to three fourth cup of sugar syrup, which I got from the can, I'm adding one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch, and I'm gonna whisk it together to form a slurry. And we're gonna pour this into the saucepan. Now we're gonna place this on a medium high heat and stirring constantly, we're gonna cook it till the mixture thickens. Then we're gonna take it off the heat, empty it into a bowl, allow it to cool, Cover it with a plastic wrap and refrigerate it for a little bit. And now while the filling is chilling, let's quickly prep our egg wash. For that, I'm going to take one egg and beat it up till it gets broken down. And to that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of milk and whisk it together. Now let's keep this aside and start making our hand pies. Now see how well our filling has set. And now we're going to take one of the disc and we're going to roll it out. So for that first, I'm going to sprinkle on some all-purpose flour on the work surface. Place the pastry dough on it. Then sprinkle on some all-purpose flour on top of the pastry dough. And on top of that, I'm going to add on a parchment paper. This is going to prevent my rolling pin from sticking onto the pastry dough while I roll. And I'm going to keep rolling the dough till it becomes about 1-8 inch thick. Now, if you feel that you have some excess all-purpose flour on your pastry dough, you can always use a pastry brush and brush it off. And now we're going to go in with the four and a half inch cookie cutter and we're going to cut circles into our pastry dough. And what I like to do here is to put a little bit of all-purpose flour on one side, put the cookie cutter into the all-purpose flour and then cut into the dough. 
This prevents the cookie cutter from sticking onto the dough and also prevents the dough from shrinking when you cut. Now to know exactly where to place the filling, what I like to do is to fold the disc into two, press it down to get a halfway mark and then place the filling towards one side of the halfway mark. Now to seal it, we're gonna take that egg wash that we had made and brush it right around the circumference of the disc. Now we're gonna take the opposite side of the disc, flip it over the filling and gently press it down to form our hand pie. And for that traditional method of sealing our hand pie, we're gonna take a fork, just put it into a little all-purpose flour so that it does not stick to our pastry dough. And we're gonna keep pressing it down all around to seal the hand pie. And we're gonna continue this process to seal all our hand pies. Now, while my oven is preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna make little slits on the pastry dough on the top of the hand pies so that the steam gets a chance to escape. And now let's brush on an even coating of the egg wash on the top of the hand pies. This is going to give that lovely golden color to our hand pies. And for a little extra crunch, I like to sprinkle on some sugar on the top. Now, if you have thicker granulated sugar, that works even better. And now we're going to place them into the oven and bake our hand pies for approximately 20 to 25 minutes till they turn flaky and get a lovely golden color. And after about two to three minutes, you're going to take them off the tray Place them on a wire rack to cool while you continue baking the rest. Wow, just look how flaky the pastry is. And now that our peach hand pies have cooled down, let's give them a taste. Wow. Just look at that. Lovely layers. Mmm. Wow, these hand pies are absolutely amazing. I love those lovely layers that we've got for the pastry and it was so easy to put together. And the filling is absolutely delicious. The best thing about these hand pies is that they're portion control. So go hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will get the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.